Hello aspirants, I am Lieutenant Commander Vimal Raj, ex GTO SSB Calcutta and 12 SSB Bangalore. Thank you so much for the wonderful response. Or jitne bhi aspirants jo social graces and etiquettes video ke liye likes or share kiye or comment kiye, thank you so much. Or if you have not seen the video of about social graces and etiquettes or what is the etiquettes followed by armed forces officers. Please go watch that video and then you can come back for this video. Also, do not forget to subscribe, like as well as you can comment and also press on the bell icon for the notification. In today's video, we will see what happens after you get your commission. Both are aspirants, so ki after getting recommended from SSB, it is a very tough process. Jaise ek bar recommend ho gaya, recommendation ke baad, we all are aware ki hum academy mein join karna hai. To academy mein training tough rehega. That everybody is aware. So many videos are there ki jis mein academy training kitna tough rehta hai. But none of the video would have told you how much studies you are supposed to do in academies. So along with your physical efforts, you must also dedicate equal time, energy towards your understanding about armed forces. This is what will happen in your training at academies. Jab aapki training hai, it is not only your physical strengthening, it is also your mental strengthening, your awareness towards the armed forces that will be created. So, ye normal training, har ek academy ke sabse, agar maan lo, aapne IMA join kiya, to aapka training al, almost about one year rega, OTA about one year rega, two terms. Maybe, depending on the entry, aapko shayad ek term ya do terms rehenge, Air Force is almost one year. So, depending on the requirement of the services, the training time is varied. Now, once on completion of your training, I am sure all of you are aware that your passing out parade will happen and then you will get your stripes. Mostly, there are two courses, agar IMA, Naval Academy, Indian Naval Academy or Air Force Academy. The course passing out rega, Jan join karenge, jo June end mein course pass out rega, or July hai to November and December. So, this is the six month cycle. Only for this OTA Chennai, there will be a passing out in end of March and end of October. So, they are three months slightly delayed. So, that is the difference which is kept for SSC officers. So, this everybody is aware you go get your tra yourself trained and then you become a commissioned officer. On your passing out parade, you get your ranks in your shoulders. If you are joining army, you get the shining stars. If you are into navy, you get the Nelson rings. And then if you are into Air Force, you get the coveted stripes. So, you get the stripes. Now, after that, what will happen? If you join army, so there are so many regiments you have been allotted. Then you will go for your respective regiments. Likewise, Navy, there are so many cadres, aviation, submarine, logistics. So there are so executive branch which takes all those things. Then you, you get yourself bifurcated. Likewise, for Air Force, you join flying branch or admin ground duties. So these are the things. So what happens after you're passing out? Normally, after your POP, you go for a leave, for your annual leave, that is about at least a month's time. Thereafter, you report to your specific units where your subsequent training I'll tell my own experience of I'm a direct entry observer so what happened in my case is Naval Academy is a pass out we went on about three weeks leave and then you go into various schools of Indian Navy yes various schools Navy has got a separate training command the Southern Naval Command is a training command which takes care of your training so likewise if you look at Army also there is a separate command which is catering for the training Similarly, Air Force is also having a lot of training centers where the entry level officers are trained to understand what is your organization, that is what is your Navy, what are all the various things. Like for example, in my case, I will tell you, we went to understand what is anti-submarine warfare, we went to understand to communication school to understand what is signals and communications, we went to NBCD school to understand what is nuclear, biological, chemical warfare, how to go about it, what are the things we are supposed to do, how to do firefighting, how to do damage control in case, if you think that ship has some damage, if there is water in the ship, or if there is fire. So how are you supposed to save yourself to react in that situation? So these kind of general orientation will be given to you. Similarly, Army mein, there is a course called YO course, Young Officer course. Similarly, Air Force is also having course. So your first rank, like for example, if it is Navy, it is a sub-lieutenant. If it is Army, it is lieutenant. And for Air Force, it is like flying officer. Mostly this two years of your, this appointment, this rank will go in reading about armed forces. You will be continuously reading what is armed forces and all those things. So effectively, 
even if you see or this thing it will be mentioned as probation period in this entire probation period you are supposed to read about the organization and understand what does your organization wants once jeremy in my case there's a mera training wo about indian navy what is there what are all things ships you will go for your ship attachment so all these things are over thereafter i was sent to observer school now it is called as naval air operations officer school so earlier observer now it is renamed as naval air operations officer so now i we go to the school and then you get specific training towards your flying operations again that has got so many subjects to start with like aerodynamics air navigation communication so there is much more like uh, about meteorology all those things which is associated to your uh, subject of flying then subsequently coming on to the naval operations training like what is your uh, tactics what is the operations air operations which you are supposed to do so all those training will happen okay does your are you a ca- completely full on officer to take on something no you get your or you complete your training there after you get your wings like pilot they do their flying and then they get their wings like with observers we also got our wings and then we go to our respective squadrons there are so many squadrons where the aircraft is being operated and you go to those respective squadrons and there you get your proper training of operations like you are attached with some other effective observer or an staff pilot or an staff observer like if you are a pilot or as with pilot so then you learn your complete thing into operation so that will go on for about 6 months to 1 year so about 2 and a half years to 3 years mostly you will be learning a lot of things into indian armed forces like if you are into army you will be learning okay in a case of an air force officer you will be again trained and then some amount of like for example flying so you love stage 1 flying stage 2 flying then your type flying so all those flying will be there so once that is over subsequently you go into logistics cadre or education cadre you will be given first training and then only you are given a job okay when i am given a job will i be acting very much independently yes you have some liberty to take lot of decisions jab aapke chote chote चीज में आपको डिसीजन ले सकते हैं और लेकिन ऑलवेज देर विल बी योर सेकेंड इन कमांड एंड देन योर कमांडिंग ऑफिसर ऑन टॉप ऑफ यू जब भी आपको डाउट है यू कैन ऑलवेज टेक रेफरेंस फ्रॉम देर दर्गेनाइजेशन इज स्ट्रक्चर्ड इन सच ए वे की देर इज ऑलवेज देर इज समी ऑन टॉप ऑफ यू हु इज देयर टू एग्जैक्टली ट्रेन यू एंड गाइड यू दट वॉट यू हाउ टू डेली हाउ टू कंप्लीट योर जॉब सिमिलरली यू विल हैव लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल अंडर यू your supervision where you can explain the task and then get the job done from them so that is also possible one more thing as aspirants you already have to supposed to understand is the moment you become you get your ranks definitely you will be saluted by the senior most in navy this mass chief petty officers or in army you can call it as subedar majors so those people uh, those those uh, people will definitely respect you for your rank but in terms of experience you must listen and then take inputs from them this is what you should be keeping in your mind throughout so that's it if you like this video definitely share it with your uh, other friends and aspirants who should understand how your life will be once you get into the armed forces as officers and if you really like this please do give a like and then you can always subscribe and please put in your comments if you want me to make some more video like this please mention that in the comments jaisa aapne mention karenge uske hisab se i will make videos accordingly all the very best and do not forget to follow us for complete guidance you can always call us on 93424 where we'll be able to give you a complete guidance about all the techniques of ssb and there is a easy possibility that you can definitely become an officer with a proper mentoring all the very best jai hind